Today we're going to discuss the importance of requeening honeybee colonies as a means of maintaining the health and increasing the production of colonies. Requeening is typically practiced annually by commercial beekeepers to obtain the benefits from increased pheromone production and egg laying ability associated with young queen bees resulting in increased production. Recreational beekeepers are more likely to requeen every two years as hives on permanent or semi-permanent sites are not as demanding on the queen to lay large numbers of eggs. Healthy, well-reared and mated queen bees of good genetic stock along with good quality worker cell brood combs are major factors in improving honey yields. Beekeepers can rear their own replacement stock or purchase mated queens from commercial queen bee breeders or rear or purchase mature queen cells. Requeening is best done when the colonies are not swarming. The ideal time is from September to March to fit in with seasonal conditions when there's a light nectar flow and pollen flow. The colony is content and the requeening is most likely to be successful. If a beekeeper requeens when colonies are swarming, there's a strong possibility of loss of the new queen with a swarm. It's important to order replacement queens or mature queen cells early, so set a date with the queen breeder to allow him time to breed up the numbers he needs. Queen breeder details are usually found in beekeeper newsletters and journals. Generally speaking, the mated queens are sent in queen cages of various designs with the queen inside with four or five escort bees. One end of the cage will have a plug of queen candy to feed the bees. Queens are usually sent through the mail to your letterbox, so it's important to make sure the letterbox is clean and free of ants, or you can arrange to pick up the queen cages from the local post office. As with most management practices, it's important to maintain a high degree of hygiene and safety when requeening, so check for any occupational health and safety hazards and rectify those, and ensure that all protective clothing, smokers and hive tools are up to standard. Beekeepers have the option to requeen all colonies at the same time, or to just select certain colonies. Six to eight weeks after requeening, all the worker bees will change, so it's possible to introduce superior genetic stock in a relatively short time frame. Open and check the colony for aggressive bees, poor disease resistance, drone layer, poor performing workers, uneven brood pattern, old queens, worker bees that tend to run over the comb out of control. The aim is to select queens whose progeny are productive, disease resistant and docile. Colonies with American fowl brood should never be requeened. If no queen excluder is fitted to the hive, queens can be found virtually on any frame. If a queen excluder is fitted, the queen is on the frames under the excluder. Work to a system when locating a queen. Use a minimum of smoke to control the bees and remove the second comb from the wall first. Examine all the combs until the queen has been located, paying attention to the edges of the combs. Once the queen is located, she can be killed by squeezing between the thumb and finger and dropped back into the box or thrown away. Ensure you remove the tab or cork from the candy end of the cage so the bees can chew the candy to release the new queen into the colony in a few days. The queen cage with the new queen and escorts is then placed between two brood combs in the centre of the brood nest, with the candy end slightly upwards so if an escort dies it won't block the hole. It's very important to check after about 10 days for the presence of the new queen. If she has been accepted into the colony, you'll see her and the new brood. If you see queen cells, then the introduction of the replacement queen has failed. There are other methods for introducing new queens, but this one has been found to be the most successful. If requeening using queen cells, dequeen the colony the day before. It's advisable to place the mature queen cells in the centre of the brood nest to hatch the following day. The queen will emerge from the queen cell and mate within the next 10 days. Check the colony for brood about 15 days after putting the queen cell in the colony. This is a cheaper method of requeening, but the colony can be queenless for a longer period 
than if a mature queen is introduced. After introducing a queen or queen cell into a colony, record the details on the brood box of the date the queen was introduced or the queen cell and the date was checked for the new queen and the results. A handy hint in this process is to place a dot on the queen's thorax after she mates to help identify her readily.